ready. Eight days in there. No playing cards. Well, we are here and we are heading in. Super excited. This is, uh, I've only seen one or two camps along the road coming in. There's one more pull out down here where there might be some camps, but we're optimistic that things are going good. So we're gonna take the bikes, go back in as far as we need to, to get into good elk country and find a camp spot and then uh, park them and hunt from there. Dude, can you hear me? <laughs> can I hear you? This, is this like one of the kids helmet? It's like too tight. I can't even hardly get it on. I've wore that one before. Not sure what's going on. Does it have extra padding in there or something? No. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> that mop on your head. I've got an idea for that. Oh yeah? yeah. Might go against popular you have a ponytail? Consensus? A ponytail puller? No, I've got something ponytail better. Ponytail holder? That's something better. Oh! I think it's time to say no oh. hawk. Not a mohawk, a no hawk. <laughs> you good with that? I'm good with that. You might want to. This thing's hawk. really grown on me though. <laughs> Hope the battery Maybe. doesn't run out halfway through. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's bogging down. Somebody's gonna think somebody sheared a horse here. Oh, the battery just died. You can stop there. It was the top that was, <laughs> the top that was tight, not the back. <laughs> Pull that out of the way. rat's nest off of there. Poor clippers are struggling here. How long has that been growing? Over a year? A year and a half. Oh, my head's cold. <laughs> Look at that. Alright. Oh. Now people aren't gonna be able to tell us apart again. <laughs> He's the one that looks like Jason Kidd. I'm the one who doesn't look like Jason yeah. Kidd. Alright, does it fit now? Let's see. Oh, fits perfect. Found out what the problem was. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Give me that mountain air where I can smell the pines There's a million stars in that Montana sky An open range as far as I can see These country roads are like paradise And each sunset will leave you hypnotized This wild, wild west is where I want to be this is heaven to me She keeps on calling me home And I can't leave her too long That's where they bury my bones This is heaven to me There's still old cowboys in these saloons We still got wolves howling at the moon And untamed horses running wild and free Rivers run deep in my veins I can hear a song in that summer rain If I were an angel, this is where I'd be Cause this is heaven to me She keeps on calling me home And I can't leave her too long My soul forever will run
When I come home it's like living a dream Cause this is heaven to me Donnie, do you have any ibuprofen? <laughs> Does Donnie have ibuprofen? You should have asked him if he had his vitamins. <laughs> I've got vitamins, I just don't have ibuprofen. Great day, it's cold out. We didn't hear a single bugle all night. We camped in a spot where we thought we wouldn't be able to sleep because of all the bugles. And so now we're a little bit nervous about what we're going to find so I'm a it's opening opening our, day for us it's opening day in Idaho for us and historically opening day with Corey has been let's walk the perimeter of the unit get an inventory of where all the elk are so my legs are a little hesitant to take off mine aren't all right, so morning of day one, Destination Elk, V4. I think Donnie's got it done on opening day, first day hunting in the past, so. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not bringing my bow. <laughs> Big mistake, I know. But. We are in some of the best elk country I think I've seen. There's rubs everywhere, there's tracks, but there's no bugles. I don't know. It's the 17th of September, so they should be full on screaming now, and they just aren't. 
There's a camp right above us that we didn't find out until dark last night. I don't know how long they've been in here or how much damage they've done in here, but we're gonna continue making a loop around this entire canyon. And if we don't get into anything, we might just go back and pull up camp and go down a drainage or two. It's just incredible country, but we're here to chase bugles. That was last night at 6.54 p.m. Big six point here. We've had at least 10 different bulls walk through here since August 17th. A couple of the really big ones haven't been back since like the first part of September, but there's been four or five bulls here until about a week ago. And then there was nothing until that big one last night, so. I don't know if they're roaming, looking for cows. There's only been a few cows on the trail camera. Not a lot of fresh sign, tons of rubs from two weeks ago. And then one big six point last night at seven o'clock, so. We got some figuring out to do for this afternoon. plan today Shannon well for the dev four viewing audience Corey is shooter today which means he gets to determine where we go what we do yep. basically I'm just a passenger bystander I'm here for emotional support occasional laugh a joke a joke um, here and there I'll usually bugle behind his bugles it's a strategy and technique yeah. I use more for my personal. Then that way, if the bull responds, he'd be like, I told you, got I got him. him. That was me, hold me. Yeah, so, but I think we're gonna go down to a spot where we know four or five decent bulls. Um, hopefully they're active and we'll get on one relatively quick and, and work him in and get one on the ground. Welcome to Destination Elk version 4. Is that what the V stands for, is version? Yes. Okay. So, so V would be 5 actually. Is oh. it? Well, I think version 5. Oh, is it version 5? V4? V4. Doesn't it say V4 on all the advertisement stuff? Okay. Right. So, um, yeah, Lenny and I are here. We got Nick behind the camera. And uh, we are rolling up this thing. We got a heck of a climb to get up there. Coming here with uh, big expectations, really haven't been in here much. Don't know a lot about it, but um, 
it looks good on the map. So let's see if we can find some elk.
I've been craving that for about a year. That was awesome. Nice old five gets passed today though. Slept like a baby. It's up every hour on the hour thinking about today and excited. Never gets old. Mark and I have been over here for a few days and we've located some elk that are huntable. So we're just getting the pony saddled up, but it's day one and uh, got about a mile and a half, two mile ride into the area. We'll probably tie the horses off and then start hunting them depending on what we're hearing. But we, uh, opening day here for us anyway in Idaho and we start off our uh, Destination Elk version four. There we go. So we just heard a little 
these three. Never gonna catch them, we gotta let them just settle. So, the uh, bolt, bolter bugle one, we tried to get between them. We missed them. And they went around. It's 820, the thermals are gonna start moving up the mountain now, so we gotta go back up about 500 vertical to get on top of these elk. They'll settle and they're being vocal, so I'm sure they'll sound off probably throughout the day. But we're gonna go get up on top of them and kind of see if we can reposition because we're never gonna catch them at the rate they're going. So that's a game plan. They're very nice, they're going to get the horses and bring them to us. So I will let them do that. <laughs> up on this flat here and there's a good saddle with a lot of grass we can lead them for the day and then we can go on a couple different canyons see if we can relocate this this big herd we'll just mosey on up the hill here and get up on this top here Just a big, a big black bee on her, and then I saw that she was. I mean, I got bit so many times on my hand. <laughs> Trying to get him off of her. She was pissed. <laughs> she was. No bueno. Uh, the morning of day one and uh, we're getting ready to head out from camp and see what we can uh, run into today. Um, this is a pretty new area for us so we think these first few days is going to be a lot more exploring and trying to figure things out and uh, hopefully just have some good encounters. But uh, We're going to take it pretty slow today and just try not to bump a lot of elk and see what we can see what we can find.
we got to find good feed and water sources, and that's a good spot, but I mean, it's so hot that they might just not be talking, but without trying to blow them all out, but we've just got to, we got to find out. So. Hey guys, good morning. This is day one of our hunt. This is Team Wilderness Ridge, Marcus Hockett and Bo Beatty. We've got seven comrades coming with us and uh, Corey's behind the camera doing all the hard work and uh, we're pumped. We've never been here before. Marcus and I have never hunted this area and I kind of like that, you know, it's a neutral, neutral ground and it sets a challenge to figure it out. But Marcus already kind of sorted it out last night. He got here last night early before dark, found some bulls. <laughs> four, bull, four bulls visible from the trailhead. Four bulls. <laughs> so that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Cool. We, I haven't hunted one day this year, so I'm excited to hear the first elk bugle and see some elk and, you know, hunting for me is vacation, type two type fun, you know. It's hard work, but uh, I'm so glad to be here. This is going to be great. Should, I just get a front, should we get the spot and scope out on us? I mean, we're here to hunt, right? Or do you want to just, should we just go? No, we have all day. Let's do it. Okay. Well, we found three groups of elk. We literally walked 150 yards <laughs> from, from the truck. And I'm like, you know, before the sun comes up, we should probably just glass this real quick. And dude, soon enough, Marcus turns up a big herd and we found some on the top of the skyline and some on the down, way down the drain. So um, I'd hope there wasn't elk up there because <laughs> this is the top of the mountain. But there they are. You find elk right where you find them. So about 60 elk actually. So it's a good, good amount. You know, Marcus is going to put the phone scope on them and we'll see what's up. It's pretty exciting. Find elk. This footage is pretty bad. This like angle of the sun, I think. Yeah. But... You saw, you saw him. I just saw the cows. I didn't see the bull. Did you see him at all? What? Just he said there's a nice six point in there. Like a big six. <sighs> Who would have, they're still on me. I don't know, four, not even 400 yards from the trailhead. I don't know why we're packing in so far. There's elk all over here. Yeah. Let's go around the corner and, and see what's up. I'll just be, just on them slow, on slow. That's a really nice bowl. I saw this bull. The bull that came out, those cows that came out, those must have been the same elk. And this is a new herd right here, that's right below us. That's a nice bull. That's a huge bull. 
bull. Two huge bulls. This is insane. I'm a little bit you know, stunned a little bit. Like a fish. Like 300 yards, 400 yards from the trailhead. Dude, that was a really nice bull. Did you see him? I thought this one. I didn't see that one. That one's a little better, but this one, this one's 315, 320. Yeah. It's a nice bull. What do you think if we tie up and see if we can find some water? Well, um, we're not for sure if there's water at our camp and we're about a half mile from it. But we think there's water close by, so we're gonna park the llamas for a little bit and then hike out and see if we can find water before we set up our base camp, so. We decided that this is the place. <laughs> so, we're gonna unload the llamas and we've got snow here so we can kind of melt some water for a couple days anyway and we packed enough water to get us by for a few days so Michael. Yes. You got to be getting this stuff. I don't. I don't want to be telling you how to do your job, man. But the folks on Destination Elk, we've seen more elk tonight than all the rest of the teams are going to see this season. <laughs> Probably, honestly. Where Corey was hunting in Alaska, he said the herd is maybe 200. Wow. We've seen more than uh, Corey's whole island and mountain have. Yeah, and we haven't really explored very much. <laughs> No. We walked in with the llamas. What, hour and a half walk? Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Set up camp, and Michael comes running around the corner. We can't use the language he, he used, but it was to the effect that there's a lot of elk out there, Randy. You gotta go look at that. It's pretty sweet. So, but now we got the, the crew all excited on Destination Elk. Yeah. They're not gonna wanna check in with all the other groups. <laughs> They're gonna be like, Michael and Randy are in the thick of it, man. Yeah, uh, uh, these are definitely gonna get messed with tomorrow for sure. But we'll be as the plan well, is to be have able you to ever be ready. Killed the bull in archery season opening morning. I missed one opening morning <laughs> <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> Rolled a clip. <laughs> I, I, I've never killed one opening morning. No, I've never killed one opening morning either. It'd huh. be cool. I'm I'm not holding out for anything. If it's got antlers on it. Shot. If it's got fur on it, for me, it's getting shot. <laughs> All you Destination Elk people who think that, you know, you, if you want to see big elk kill, go watch the other groups. I shoot cows, maybe even a spotted calf if I think we could cook it while we were here. I'm just telling you folks, don't don't be sitting around your TV thinking when they check in on us that big Hank's going to just be laying on the deck with my arrow in him. Maybe with Michael's, but not mine. I'm equal opportunity here at the Newberg household. Well, you keep doing this. I'm going to eat. All right. See you there. You get any sleep last night, dude? No. <laughs> I didn't. Why is that? Well, partially because there are so many elk, but another reason is my air mattress doesn't work. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, I got a little sleep, and uh, there's elk bugling this morning. There's one that just bugled. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> well, didn't hear any elk bugling last night. What's that? I didn't hear any elk bugling last night either. I was sleeping real hard. You were sleeping real hard. Oh, I was? They've been screaming all night. Huh? They've been screaming all night. 
You really ha you really didn't hear any? I did not hear an elk. Yeah. There's a bull like right back here. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's why I bring young guys with you. What are you thinking, Michael? Okay, morning. Let's see if we can find us some elk. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think that's the point. Yeah. Heard him bugling last night, heard him bugling this morning. Let's see if we can find those said bugles. Which way were they bugling? Most uh, of them seem like down there. I feel like there's some yeah. way over that way. Oh, well, we got a screwy wind this morning. The wind's yeah. supposed to be coming from this way. It's supposed to be coming from that way. I think we'll get up on some of these ridges and listen and glass. Yeah. yeah. And then make a decision based on what the wind does. Yeah. You guys done chewing snooze and all the other stuff you got to do to get ready in the morning? It's half hour after the legal shooting. Line. I've been standing here. I just about needed to take a nap waiting for you guys to get ready. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> see him anymore. Thank <laughs> you. 
necessarily smell does. But regardless. brand new Yeti hat. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. This is like my walking around town nice hat. I have another one that I wore fishing and hunting all last year. So That's your lucky Yeti hat. It's, gonna, it's about to be. It's going to be my new one. My new lucky Yeti hat. There you go, folks. You got to start a new season with a new hat. So, yeah, I do at least. <laughs> hunting pressure is. Right up here there's a bunch of camps up on the ridges up there. I think the elk went a few more drainages, maybe only one drainage that way. get up and reposition themselves slightly.
just talking with our buddy's dad up here. And he was like, there's another, he was, we were just talking about the elk that we're sitting on. I said, yeah, come on, we can take a look at him real quick. We look over the hill, there's two bulls right there with Spike and that rack horn. Gosh darn it, dude, I thought I heard something. So they spook down just a little bit. I crawl over here. Randy starts hitting the cow call a little bit and he's starting to come. He was coming, coming, coming and then he just like, he hung up. He hung up, we probably should. He's still looking right there. But whew, that'd have been 30 yards right there where I was gonna shoot him. Yeah. That was not a good shot for me yeah. with all the brush and stuff. I, had, I ranged him at 70 right there. I was like, holy crap, this may happen. Holy there's a big bull down there. Dude, there's a giant bull down there. Right down below us. You, you gotta come up here. He just went to the trees. He's in the, so do you see that? Cows. He's gonna come right. He's in the bottom of the trees. I mean, just a slob. There's another raghorn, or not even a raghorn. There's a nice one in the back of this group, Dale. I mean, I like seeing big bulls. I just know it's so, there's so much harder to kill. <laughs> I mean, and there's just so many eyes. It's crazy. So we're, we just had that fiasco happen. We came over to look. Looks like this other herd came over the hill. There's some giant bulls down in there. We're gonna drop down into these cuts, get a little close and see if we can't cut off a satellite bowl, call in a satellite bowl, something like that. But a lot of these elk are going down into the flats right now, so we gotta move. Closer to camp. Fourth, fifth, he's a seven. He's a seven by six. See him? Yep. He's feeding right now.
Something got to move in this way. There's that goofy looking spike with all the funky forks that was back bedded down when we first saw them. Leg horn in the back. Hey, thanks so much for joining us in this episode of Destination Elk. Be sure and thank our sponsors, Yeti, Mountain Ops, Peaks Equipment, and the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation for supporting what we do and allowing us to bring you these episodes of Destination Elk. As a reminder, you can also sign up for the University of Elk Hunting online course at elk101.com and use the promo code DESTINATION to save $20. We'll catch you in the next episode of Destination Elk. tough to hunt them when you got 160 of them just bound all together. Sounds like a good bull. Exactly the kind of response you want to get out of one. Got first blood here at five yards. 